I think it was probably in the basics. Uh, he had a great analogy in the book about an experiment a guy did where he uh, had a plant, he stuck a tree, I think, in a container. Yeah, this, this was an experiment that was done several hundred years ago. Okay. Uh, this, you know, so this is back when people knew very little about how these things grow. So he, he took a small seedling tree, put it in a pot, and he weighed the soil exactly. So he knew how much soil it had. And then all he did was add distilled water. So no fertilizer, no, nothing else was ever added. No minerals, no nothing. No minerals, nothing. So the tree had to grow out of this soil. And he grew it for, I don't know, 10 years or something. And then at the end of the 10 years, he had this big tree and he weighed the tree and he also weighed the soil in the pot. Yeah. And of course, what you would expect is that a lot of the weight of the soil disappeared and went into the tree. And that's not what happened. The weight of the soil after 10 years was almost the same as it was when you started. Yes. So where did the weight of this tree come from? And, uh, you know, it may be surprising at first, but when you think about it, it, it makes total sense. Well, most of that weight came from the carbon that the tree absorbed through photosynthesis. Air. Air, basically. <laughs> Air. <laughs> so it's sucking CO2 in during photosynthesis. And CO2 is the main component of, you know, woody tissue, of, of green tissue, the sugars, the starches, almost everything inside a plant has lots of carbon in it. Yes. Right? And I think this, this concept now is so important for us to understand, given the problems we have with climate change and the environment and so on. Um, that carbon that goes into the trees is no longer in the air. It's, it's in a tree form. So it's taken out of the air and, and no longer contributes to global warming. Yes. Because right? it's a tree. And that's why these forests are so important. When yes. we cut <laughs> down a tree and, and we, we burn that wood, we, we turn that carbon back into CO2. Yeah. Right. Um, now, the interesting thing is that a lot of people say that these forests, these mature forests, are great for helping our climate change because they're sucking in all this CO2, but that actually is not true. So if we take a mature forest, trees are always dying, and as they die and decompose, they release CO2 back into the air. In a mature forest, the amount of wood is kind of constant, right? New trees grow and, and they absorb CO2 and they're absorbing it, but the old trees are dying and they're releasing it. So you reach a steady state where the forest isn't really absorbing more CO2. Mm. Uh, what is important is when we take, um, you know, non agricultural make, land yes. and we turn it back to forest. Yes. Now we've got 200 years of sucking carbon into those trees. Right. So that certainly does work for climate change. Yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was trying to find the, was trying to, was trying to find the thing because the weight, I don't know if you remember the difference in the weight. Um, it, was, it was, it was, it was staggering. And, you know, it just, you know, it's not like this, uh, this whole getting the carbon out of the, uh, out of the atmosphere is a mystery. <laughs> I just weighed the thing before and I, I can't find it. Um, but it was like, I don't know, it was something like, it was like 150 pounds. Yeah. You know, and it was like 15 pounds at the beginning. So it's like 150 pounds of air carbon, mm. which when you think about how much air it would have taken to pull that, especially when you consider like, like if, if I'm in a room here, you know, it's like, what is it like? Uh, 20% oxygen, 80% 80, 80 nitrogen, 1% yeah. everything else. That's right. <laughs> you know? yeah. So you know, it's a 79, 20, and 1, right? Something like that, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that little 1 becomes like, you know, 100 pounds a tree. Yeah. That's amazing. The, the other thing that's really interesting is, is that we, we, a lot of people understand that, that the wood that the tree makes is, has a lot of carbon in it. Um, but there's, there's uh, something else going on that we're, we, we understand better now as, as, as the scientists 
community, not so much from the gardening perspective. And, and that is that there's another place a lot of this carbon goes. So what the plant is doing, it's creating these sugars. And a lot of those are sent down to the roots. Yes. And uh, we understood that. That's how we get carrots and beets and, and, and how plants overwinter because they store this sugar down there. And that's why sugar maples, for instance, you know, the syrup comes back up in the spring from the roots because that's where the sugar was stored. Mm. Um, but what we don't know a lot about is the fact that plants actually exude these sugars out of their roots, right? This is, has to do with another one of those topics on the list, which is the rhizosphere. Yeah, so, so don't go too far into it. <laughs> no, no. Well, plant, plants take a huge amount of what they're producing in the leaves and actually squeezes it into the soil. Yeah, they, they yeah, exactly, right. they, they, what they call exudates. So, so exudate. They basically like excrete it into the ground. They just put energy into the ground. Mm. Yeah, carbon. But, but a lot of that is carbon. Yeah. And a lot of that carbon then stays in the soil. Right. So this is why uh, simply growing things um, uh, sequesters carbon. It takes it out of the air, takes CO2 in that carbon part and puts it into the soil as carbon through the plant, through the photosynthesis and through the root system. And so by growing things, we, we continually add more carbon to the soil. Yes, which is good. Hey folks, want to help support everything I'm doing here? Check out my sponsors, Vessi's Seeds and Safer's Gardening Products. For Vessi's, go to their website, Vessi's.com, and use my coupon code GAVS23, and you'll get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in your order, and there's no oversized items in your order. Check out the description box of this video for details. Uh, for Safer's Products, Woodstream Products, you can buy all the things I use in my garden, Slug and Snail Killer, BTK, and all. You can buy that from Vessi's, or you can go to their websites uh, for a much wider range of products to solve just about any kind of problem that you can imagine uh, with high quality natural ingredients like oils from seeds and flowers and stuff like that. Uh, for, if, you, if you're in Canada, go to woodstreambrands.ca and as long as your order is over $69, you get free shipping. If you're in the United States of America, then go to saferbrand.com and as long as your order is over $45 US, you'll get free shipping from them. So yeah, if you want to help support the channel and the podcast and they sell something you need, buy from them and that'll help support everything I'm doing here. Thanks a lot.